to the LA premiere of The Fall Guy. We are coming to you live right now on the famous Hollywood Boulevard that has just been shut down just for you to give you guys the most action-packed red carpet of all time. Now, I've been on a lot of red carpets. I have never seen anything like this. There's literally motorcycles going on right behind me. You just witnessed Aaron Colton and Wyatt Carnell on electric motorcycles doing tricks for the crowd. Honestly, thank God, because Universal asked me to do tricks. Oh my God, now there's a Dodge Charger doing a 50 foot straight line burnout on the carpet. You guys, <laughs> this is the craziest red carpet I've ever seen. That's Ben Jenkins, stunt guy in the fall guy, opening the door. And of course, Kelly McCormick and David Leach, the director and producer of the fall guy. Oh my God, and Ryan Gosling's behind them. And he's wearing matching sea foam suits with Ben Jenkin and Logan Holiday, who are coming up right here to join me right now. You guys, this red, I'm telling you, this is gonna be the most insane red carpet ever. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm so good. I'm now joined by Logan Holiday and Ben Jenkin. Logan, you are like one of the most insane stunt performers ever. If you guys ever see Ryan driving in the movie, that's him. He actually broke a Guinness World Record for eight and a half cannon rolls. And Ben Jenkin, at age 18, was the youngest competitor in MTV's parkour challenge. He does all the parkour stuff. You literally, you're getting run over by cars in the movie and falling. Tell me about that entrance. You guys have been doing like so many insane things. Yeah, that was amazing. You know, that's just a little taste of what you're going to see in the Fall Guy movie is lots of sliding, smoking tires, burning out, big record breaking stunts. That's what we set out to do and we did it. Well, listen, I know it's a thing or two about that because you and I actually got in on the action together. We actually have some footage of it I want to show you guys. But on the Universal back lot, I actually got to ride shotgun with Logan Holiday. It was insane. Do you get scared when you're like driving big stars like Ryan Gosling? Like, do you feel like an added pressure? You know, no, we've built such a great relationship together that I'm not scared to drive him around. I mean, I feel comfortable with my skills and I think he does as well. Um, I get a little nervous before stunts and that's that's the fun part, but that's also what keeps you really sharp and uh, focused and so you get the job done right. You're so good at it. We have the footage, so we're going to show it now. Um, but this was like, honestly, my soul left my body, Logan, when this sure happened. Scared in the car. I I honestly was, I wasn't scared because Logan's the best at what he does and because he had just broken the Guinness World Record for most cannon rolls. What, your dad is also a legend in the stunt community, Logan. What did yeah. he say to you and are there any other records that you want to break? I mean, that was crazy. Yeah, my, my dad's been a stuntman for 40 years and he's uh, he's done some of the biggest car stunts and car cannons and everything you could think of. Uh, he did all the stuff for Tom Cruise and uh, uh, Days of Thunder big cannons. Um, uh, yeah, so he's he's kind of my mentor and who I look, look up to. And whenever I have a question about something I don't know, I go straight to him. Wow. So crazy. Did you guys coordinate these outfits today, by the way? Tell me the story behind it. It was completely random. So, but no, if you if you check out Ryan as well, I think there's a, a little surprise later down the line. Yeah, yeah well, you will see soon. Well, congratulations on everything, guys. Thank you so much for everything awesome. you've done for the Sun community and this movie. You guys look incredible. And we'll see you inside. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You guys, insane. I mean, like I was saying, Logan Holiday is one of the best stunt drivers of all time. And as you guys can see, Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling are now posing. I can't wait to talk to them. All right, guys, Ryan Hello. Thomas Gosling. Hello. It is so lovely to How see you, you guys? again. Nice to see you. Oh my God, you look incredible. Did you coordinate this with all the stunt guys in the movie? You know, it was just an accident. We all just wore this suit. So Isn't that crazy. So you know, wild. Gotta start like an email chain or something. Just, I don't think any of us wants to say, what are you going to wear? But we need to start doing it. This is embarrassing. It is, I agree. But also, this carpet is insane. I've never seen anything like this, Ryan. It's insane our primitive ancestors never got to experience anything like stunts. <laughs> I love making you laugh. I wasn't expecting primitive ancestors, but yeah. Thank you 
so much. Good. I practiced that one at home yeah. and it worked. Um, Ryan, you were so funny. You've done so much since the last time I saw you. Papyrus is a skit that literally just sends Which, me. By the way, it came from our primitive ancestors. <laughs> Wait, you're so right. Wait a started, started Wow, that was so full circle. If you guys haven't seen Papyrus, Ryan plays a character who's upset at the movie title font of Avatar. I was curious, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the movie title font of The Fall Guy? I like the font. I think it's very, it's bold, it's functional. You know, I love the falling guy in the A. I yeah. think it's a nice detail. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I, I think it's impact. It's pretty impactful. Yeah. Um, you're so funny because you just commit to the bit. Like when we saw you play Ken or perform I'm Just Ken. But even in this movie, Ryan, you're scared of heights and you do a fall. Like you always commit to everything. I was wondering what advice you have to people who are maybe scared to just go for it because they care too much about like what other people think. <sighs> That's a tough one now. I mean, what are we talking about? You know what I mean? Depends on the thing. Yeah. You can't just give a blanket advice like that. What if it's a face tattoo? I don't know. If it's a face tattoo, sleep on it. Don't just jump right into it. If, it's a, if a face tattoo is a good idea, it'll be a good idea in the morning, right? Yeah. So it just depends on the thing. I'm going to need specifics if we're going to get into like the advice. Right. I'll come back with some specifics okay. from our primitive ancestors. But, yeah. um, I love that in the movie we get to see some of your singing chops and we got to see it. Uh, well, you know, you kind of rock out to like a Taylor Swift song. But I noticed that in your illustrious 25 plus year career, the one thing you haven't done, Ryan, is a sequel or a spinoff. So what percentage of you would be down for like a Ken spinoff or Fall Guy sequel? Like um, what percent, like actual percentage, like 73 okay. percent. Yeah. Either, I think. Yeah. It's a safe percentage. Yes. I get, somebody keeps giving me a side eye. I'm sorry if I seem distracted, but he has a, he has a microphone. He has a, 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 a bullhorn. Do you? Do you are, what's that? Oh, oh, this is what I, this is a bit. Oh, my God. Wait, has, wait. Oh, my God. What's going on up there? <laughs> Oh my Troy God! Right Wait, is that Troy is that? Brown who Ready, did the 150 foot fall in the movie? Two, one, action! Oh my God! Ryan, guys, Troy Brown. Troy Brown, ladies and gentlemen, Troy Brown. I just love watching your stunt guys do their thing. This is just hanging out with him every day. Just, just like you go, you know. You go to Rite Aid, they're doing stuff. They're on the top of the building. Just, it's just, it's just par for the course. This is their day to day. Now, obviously, don't try this at home. They did. He did a leap from a 50-foot scissor lift onto an airbag. But if you eat a burrito and you know jump on a bed with a full stomach, I think it would give you probably the same feeling. Ryan's got to go this now. Guy, no, he's bored with me. He's like, wrap <laughs> this guy up. Let's wrap him up. Ryan, congrats on everything for the fall guy. Have so much fun tonight, guys. Ryan Thomas Gosling. I mean, 73% chance for a sequel I'll take it amazing that fall was insane all right I'm now joined by Troy Brown wait do you need to catch your breath you just did a leap from a 50 foot scissor leg. I might be a little bit shaky right now but man that was so fun and doing it here is such a crazy experience and this is awesome like this whole setup has been amazing and i'm just glad to be a part of it seriously i mean that was so impressive to watch in real life but i was telling everyone in the movie you do an 150 foot free fall from a moving helicopter it is so insane you guys have to see it to believe it but i was actually really impressed to see how good you look as a blonde when i saw the behind the scenes footage did you like yourself as a blonde yeah it was pretty cool i rocked it for a while after the show um you never know i might have to do that in the future if i ever double ryan again so see if that happens Hopefully that is in your future in the behind the scenes footage i noticed that your hands were in prayer mode and you were like closing your eyes meditating before a fall like that what are you saying to yourself um man i was really just sending a prayer to the big man upstairs and you know i know god's got my back and has i don't know i just i've practiced all this stuff so much i'm just praying that i remember what to do and you know just go for it you said you practice all this stuff so much. Your dad is a legend in the Sun community, Bob Brown. You've been falling since you were five, I read. What fall did you do at five? It was a rehearsal for the movie called The Pacifier. And I was five years old. I had a broken arm because I crashed a bicycle a couple weeks prior. And uh, my dad was a stunt coordinator. And he's like, hey, buddy, you want to go jump out of a helicopter? And I'm like, of course. That sounds amazing. So, yeah, I got the opportunity to do that. And that's how I got my SAG card and got started in stunts. 
so insane. That puts like another title on like helicopter mom and dad, you know, like that's like a whole other meaning. Okay, before I let you go, I have to ask, I always have to go number one. Has, has any stunt made you like go number one a little bit or, you know? No, I mean, it's gotten close sometimes. I'd say the 150 foot, that one definitely was the gnarliest. That was the biggest one and, you know, just the gut wrencher for sure. So, but yeah, never, never number one. <laughs> well, that's good to know. It paid off. It is absolutely stuntacular. I can't wait for you guys to see it in the movie. Troy Brown, congratulations. And that was insane. Thanks for stopping by. My friends, I'm doing fabulous now that the director, David Leach, and producer Kelly McCormick from 87 North Productions are here now. You guys, wow, where do I even start? I mean, you made the movie, you did the press tour, right? And you literally made a movie about a job that you had, David, that yeah. no one talked about ever, yeah. really, until now. And you create this hilarious, action-packed rom-com that everyone loves. It sparks this incredible conversation in the industry about how there's no stunt category at the Oscars. So I have to start this off by asking you, how did you feel when you woke up this morning, and how are you feeling about finally getting to share the fall guy with the rest of the world this weekend? Felt pretty good waking up. You know, it's exciting that it's all sort of a culmination right now, tonight. Um, celebrating the stunt community but also celebrating the filmmaking community in here in LA so it's really feeling good about it I couldn't be more uh, we couldn't be more proud I think yeah let's go it's time <laughs> come on it's time to share it with the world let's go yes. everyone's got <laughs> to see the fall guy see <laughs> the fall guys oh, it's so good I can't, it's so rewatchable too I'm about to watch it for a third time um, I have to ask if the conversation that you guys have sparked from this film does lead to eventually one day a stunt category being at the Oscars where's the first place you both would go to celebrate um, probably somewhere to get spicy margaritas <laughs> stay home with the dogs <laughs> <laughs> or spicy margaritas at home with the dog. Did you know in some of the theaters for Fall Guy guys, you can get a spicy stunt guy drink? I saw that. Yeah, the so spicy cool. stunt man. I like it. It's pretty Filled cool. with tequila, which is common. The stunt man's drink, probably, <laughs> for sure. We'll have to have one after this. Yeah. Um, but you guys have so much to celebrate because you've come so far. Kelly, Doctors Without Borders, you started off in documentaries. <laughs> David, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, you were acting wow. on that. But their first collab together was on Atomic Blonde, and I know the production designer on that film put up a sign that said, everything you want is on the other side of fear. Yes. And I wanted to ask you, what was the scariest stunt in The Fall Guy that you guys oversaw that you got on the other side of fear? Because they're insane. I, I wouldn't want to be responsible. Um, putting a love story in the middle of it all was the biggest stunt of all. The love story is the biggest stunt for sure He's because an it, yeah, director, uh, but and he gives you all the feels and it's so surprising <laughs> and it's so vulnerable and scary and awesome. That's really truly the biggest stunt. I agree. Like I think you know, obviously there's been we we did, Troy Brown, who you just met, did 160 foot high fall, and then we have. Uh, you know, Logan Holiday, who broke a world record, and you got Ben Jenkins, who was lit on fire so many times I can't even count. But at the end of the day, like for me and what we did is like making this rom-com action thing that's really fresh and original was like exciting and, and the biggest stunt of all for sure. <laughs> dangerous, it was dangerous. I love that because you guys know I love love and it's so equal parts comedy, action, and romance, which we never get to see. David, I have to ask because you're a former stunt guy. You've been Brad Pitt stunt guy five times in insane movies and cinematic history. Was there a part of you that wanted to get in on the action, a.k.a. did you secretly do a stunt in your own movie? I didn't. We actually, there's a clip of me in the montage in the opening where I'm getting, there's a in Born where the car explodes and I'm getting slammed into another car. But other than that, like, I really did not want to jump in. I think that the level of talent that we sort of gathered for this movie is exceptional and far beyond my skills <laughs> at this time in my career. So, um, no, I didn't feel the need. I was happy to pass it off to the team of excellent stunt performers. Such a testament to what you both do, Kelly, you especially with 87 North Productions. I know that a big focus for you is to champion up and coming filmmakers and put p women of color and just people of color in action films. So thank you so much for everything you guys do. Thank you for making The Fall Guy a movie with a beating heart that you guys have to see in theaters. And thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank good you. seeing you. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. Bye. Bye.
friends, I am now joined by the writer of the funniest movie you're about to see, The Fall Guy. It is Drew Pierce. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was just talking to Ryan about how you guys got to start an email chain because you just, I mean, it's ridiculous. You all randomly are just wearing the same color. Wait, is he wearing the same color? That I didn't know. Oh, this is a terrible moment. But Wait, is, this, is this a bit? Yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Drew, you're so funny, I have to tell you. I hope I'm allowed to kind of allude to this. There's a moment in the movie that's the funniest for me, and Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, Tom Ryder, has a lot of things written on the wall of his home. He does. Can you tell us the idea behind that? And, oh, wait, it looks like something's about to happen. Yeah, I mean, maybe it is. Um, uh, shall we? What's there? Oh, it's Dave. Oh, it's just Dave. Uh, okay. It's just Dave. It's oh, look. Hey! <laughs> so many friends you have there. There's so many people here. Head of, head of Universal, be nice. Oh, okay, yeah. let's say hi again. Um, what was the idea behind that? And how did you come up with what um, you were going to write without giving too much away? Honestly, I, we can say there are post-it notes. Okay. I don't think it's a spoiler to say the movie has post-it notes in it. I feel like that's a very natural thing for us to say. Um, uh, yeah, I, honestly, every lunatic I know sticks post-it notes up everywhere myself included and so we just kind of pushed that to a little bit further you know extreme and so yeah uh, Aaron's character is a lunatic a-list actor who puts post-it notes everywhere mostly about his own paranoia. It's so funny Drew I can't wait for you guys to see all the post-it notes in the film um, I have to ask you what is your favorite line in the film that you think encapsulates the whole movie because it's action it's romance it's comedy. You know I actually think my favorite line personally is the line about swimming costumes, uh, which is in the very beginning of the movie and it comes back right at the end of the movie. But as a British person writing for Americans, like the chance to describe the cultural difference between swimwear and a swimming costume uh, felt like a huge uh, personal achievement. And so I'm glad that we managed to get that in there. I actually, as a little girl, had friends from Nottingham at my house and accidentally put on my Halloween costume when they told not about So thank you so obviously, much for that obviously joke. Obviously, you did not have friends in your house enough because you would call it Nottingham and not Nottingham, you see? But these cultural differences are what the movie also celebrates, amongst all the other things. You're the best. Thank you so much for writing this movie. I can't wait for everyone to see it. And congratulations on the film. Night. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye, Drew. Goodness, you guys, Logan Holiday and Ben Jenkins just got ratcheted back on the red carpet as they were posing with Ryan Gosling. That was the most insane <laughs> stunt. I've never even like seen or heard of a stunt like that. This carpet is like the energy at this carpet is insane. And every couple of seconds, a stunt could be going down from some of the best stunt performers in the entire stunt community that happen to be in the Fall Guy. And honestly, I think I think maybe there should be a sequel called The Wall Guy, right? And we should get that in a film. Sorry, did that work? Did you guys laugh at that? Sorry about that. <laughs> that was incredible, and honestly, who knows what's going to happen next.
Sorry, say that one more time. I said I'm up in the sun. It's hot up here. I'm standing next to Blake Sheldon and I asked him what the weather was like up there. It is so lovely to meet you. You too. You um, too. We are at the premiere of The Fall Guy. I don't know if you guys know this, but The Fall Guy is inspired by a TV series called The Fall Guy that had a song in it called Unknown Stuntman. And you do a cover of that song that we hear at the end of this movie over the end title credits. Can you please tell us how that came about? It is so good, by the way. Oh my God, well, thank you. I, when I was a kid, The Fall Guy was a huge TV show. I mean, I had like the little toy truck uh, from the TV show. I mean, Lee Majors was the was the star of the show. And Did you know he's here tonight? Huh? Did you know he's here tonight? Oh, I know. I knew he was in the movie, but I, ha I haven't seen the movie. I don't know how the song is even. I know that there's the song's in the movie somewhere, but, uh, but the song was a in my mind as a kid was like a hit song to me. Like I loved the song. I probably loved the song more than I even knew the TV show, you know? Uh, and so when I, I got a call from my manager that he said, Hey, they're, they're making a fall guy movie and they want to do the song. They're asking if you would do it. I said, absolutely. I don't, I don't even care, you know, about any kind of like, don't mess this up. Basically. I don't want to lose this opportunity because it's like a bucket list thing for me. So, and then I didn't even know who was in the movie or anything. I just said, I want to do the song. And then of course I find out, you know, that this cast is like, uh, you know, they couldn't have timed it better with, with, with Ryan and Emily. And, and it's just like, wow, this is a really big deal. So I didn't want to miss this premiere. It's, it's exciting for me and Gwen, you know, to be able to come out and be a part of something like this. Wow, I love that personal touch and connection you have to this, and you're gonna have to say hi to Lee Majors. This is gonna be a really fun night for you. I can't wait for you to see it at the end of the movie. It is so perfect, it's so delicious. Oh, you saw the movie? Yes. Oh, okay, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay. Well, okay. I won't tell you anything then. <laughs> um, I, can I, I do have to tell you that it is equal parts rom-com, comedy, and action, and what I love about it is that there is romance in an action movie. I feel like we don't see that all the time. Um, I love your love between you and Gwen. What part of your love story or moment in your love story felt like a rom-com to you uh a rom-com uh <laughs> there's been a lot of it because a lot of it's just been unbelievable uh for you know from literally meeting each other on the set of a reality television show we can start there but what's funny is we did a we did a rom-com uh, uh fake uh, nbc uh voice promotion one time for the voice whatever season it was we did a fake like sitcom intro tv show thing with adam and uh, Alicia Keys was on that season and we were laughing the whole time because that's Gwen and I's era is the 80s so uh, we had fun doing that but real life uh, we laugh every day about something yeah thank you for making us laugh and spreading your art with the world and making the song for thank this you. movie you're incredible Blake Shelton thank it was you. so lovely to meet Good you to meet you too thank you right. have fun out there <laughs>
Oh, you guys, now oh, another stun oh, is happening. Oh, you guys are witnessing oh, Justin Eaton right now, who is a oh, Emmy-nominated oh, stunt performer. Oh, Any martial oh, arts you see oh, in the movie oh, is Justin. Oh, he, on his Instagram bio, it says professional superhero. I, oh my god, look at the way he's just getting thrown around. There's so much glass on the carpet. There's so much commotion. Oh my god. Wow, wow, a rousing applause for Justin Ian. I mean, that is just insane. They are putting these guys to work on the red carpet. If you guys are just joining us, we are live right now at the LA premiere for The Fall Guy, which comes out this weekend. Get your tickets now on Vendego.com. They're available. I am telling you, I've seen this movie twice. I'm about to see it for a third time. It is going to be your next favorite movie. I mean, everyone's talking about it. Critics love it. Every fan I've talked to has been quoting it. And this red carpet is proof of how insane the action is in this movie.
Hello, Chris O'Hara. Nice to meet you. Hi. Good handshake. Firm handshake. Oh, firm handshake. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Hi. Uh, it's it's kind of surreal to go from the guy playing the stunt coordinator in the movie yeah. to a guy who used to be referred to as stunt coordinator. If you guys didn't know this, Chris O'Hara here uh, is the first person to ever be credited as a stunt designer in a movie, yes. which is major because now you're recognized with other crafts in film like production design, costume design. Can you tell everyone what exactly it is that you do? Like everything your job entails because it's so special, Chris. Well, I think I think the title of stunt designer is something that people really qu don't quite understand what I do. And so if you look at all the action in the film and everything that we've done, all of that comes from, it's just written on a piece of paper. So kind of designing it and changing it and molding it into what you actually finally see in the final product is what I do as a stunt coordinator. But it's really more than just coordinating. It's kind of designing and, and creating the action for the film. And so with this title, it really is kind of hopefully drawing light to what we do and so it'll be more on the line of, you know, production designer designs the whole look of the movie. The costume designer designs the whole look of the, the wardrobe. And so hopefully people will start to realize and get educated a little bit on what I do as a stunt designer. And so, you know, hopefully bring light to what we do. I love that. And you're working out here. Hopefully they're paying you extra. Guys, like he's walking around with a bullhorn. Like you're coordinating all the stunts here too. Um, I read that at one point for the Fall Guy, there was a plan to light Ryan Gosling on fire that then got kaput. Is that, is that true? Was that up to you? Well, I mean, I think we, uh, you know, we, we wanted to kind of see how far he was wanting to go, if we could do it safely and achieve it. Uh, we could absolutely do it safely. It wasn't going to be a full body burn or anything. It was just going to be, I think, his legs. And we were trying to go for that. But at that point, he absolutely said his wife drew the line on that and would not let us do that. Honestly, so, as she fun. should. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Totally. Can't mess with the money makers. Yeah, yeah. Um, this movie has so beautifully sparked a conversation on stunt performers being recognized at the Academy Awards. If that category existed, Chris, what movie or past stunt do you think would have won an award? Well, it's not, I don't think it would ever be a stunt. I don't think we're trying to go for like what the best stunt is. I think it's kind of what the best, you know, action sequences are in a movie and what, what action, what stunts are really going to drive the story and not really feel gratuitous, right? So it like, I think the idea of, you know, stunts, it should, the story should drive the stunts and not the stunts drive the story, right? So I think if we just look at, you know, you know, things like Baby Driver or, you know, Saving Private Ryan back in the day or Inception or some of these movies that were really thoughtful, had a bunch of stunts in it, but, you know, kind of fit with the story. So it wasn't gratuitous, it wasn't anything, and it just, it worked. And so I think things like that and kind of educating on the whole of what it really is. And it's not just a, you know, a superhero movie or a Fast and Furious movie. It's like, let's really look at the whole big picture of what, you know, action in cinema could be. And you can see how beautifully the stunts in The Fall Guy really tell the story. So thank you for doing that. But you mentioned superhero. I have to ask you, I don't know if this is true. You've been a stunt performer in hunt jillions of movies. Yeah. I read them. <laughs> I love Batman and Robin. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. I really love that movie. Yeah. And you did a stunt for that. What did you do in that movie? Um, I was one of uh, Mr. Freeze's ice thugs. No, you were an ice thug? Ice thug, yeah. Yeah, and so that was actually one of the first, one of my first movies that I had worked on. And so I remember I had done a, an air ram, and well, somebody had done an air ram, and they, they unfortunately couldn't ride it to what they were trying to do. And so they were frantically looking for a guy, and one of the, the Batman or the Robin doubles, who I was really good friends with, is like, Your guy on the air ram is right there. And they're like, Really? And they're like, Yeah, that's the guy. And so I did it, and I thought, you know, I did it exactly the way it was supposed to be done. And I came home, and I'm like, Yes, I made it. I'm going to just work forever now. And I probably didn't work for another year after that, but it was a great experience. It doesn't matter because you're the first person to be credited as stunt designer. Thanks for sharing a, yeah, that with me. So and you got to lead with that next time. I stuck at Batman and Robin. Chris O'Hare, everyone. I'll see Thank you inside. You. Congratulations on the movie. Are you kidding me? So I saw you had the most ginormous heels on. I did. Like massive heels. I love that you remembered that. Know, first I of all, I was impressed that you could walk in those. So much. You look ravishing. The last time I saw, I've been thinking about that time often actually because I was sarcastically joking to Emily. We were backstage about pretty privilege and how I think it's really hard when people have hit the genetic lottery in life, but that's just me. But one thing I noticed about our conversation, Em, is that you are the queen of banter. Really? Yeah, and I don't know if it's because you're British, but like how important is banter to you and what is the secret to like having great banter? You kind of know when someone hasn't got the banter in them and I get a bit like, oh. It's just easy when someone, you can kind of play ping pong with them. So I definitely look for it. I'm sure it's partly a cultural thing. I mean, we show our love by insulting each other. That's kind of how we roll, so. 
I mean, I mean, people come to England, they find out that that's really how we express great love to each other. I gotta go there to find a husband then, because I feel like banter is just number one, right? Like, if you don't have banter, you haven't found banter over here. It's hard to find banter, but I, I also feel like I could talk about banter forever. And Emily, we mustn't get lost in exposition. You no, know, we must not get lost. In exposition. <laughs> that's a line in the movie. But, but speaking of exposition, it's my favorite line in the movie. Speaking of exposition, you play Jody. Um, and I read in the I read somewhere that she was supposed to be really tough, but you yeah. thought it'd be more interesting to play someone who's way in over their head. And I thought about all this fear that you that's just the position of fear you're holding as her, the fear of directing and doing something for yes. the first time, and the fear of potentially going back to someone that you used to date. Yeah. Um, you're in the in my ear you just fell off. Um, you're in this juicy. I know I'm dying. You're in this juicy space of am I doing the right I thing? Yes. Thank you so I'm much. I'm worried about hurting you. Do you not have pierced ears? No. Why? I don't like wearing jewelry. These look cool, though. Thank you so much. Rock and roll. Like weapons. They're like, you're like a James Bond villain in those things. You can, like, do some damage. <laughs> so many crazy stunts happening. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. This is such a big deal. These guys are here. <laughs> Wait, are you? Wait, are those the guys from the live, the town hall live stream yeah. about AI? Yeah, I think that's them, which is just amazing that they made it to. Wait, I'm yeah. shook right now. Yeah. What's happened? This, this is incredible that they made it all this way. Wow. And they have faces for a camera, which is amazing. The face for camera, right? Yeah. They should not be radio hosts. <laughs> it's such a bad vibe, isn't it? <laughs> Did they get that this was like a black tie event? Did did they get that or? Wow. I'm so shocked because they're totally having a moment right now. You saw them too, right? In the back of that town hall? They're so famous right now. It's actually a big deal that they're a premiere. It's a huge, huge plus. Do you feel like you're being one-upped by them in a way? I'm a little bit. I feel a little usurped of like attention, but. <laughs> now they're asking me if I want a picture with them. <laughs> Do you want to take a picture with them? I mean, that is such a vibe, isn't it? I mean, wow. They, they probably have great banter. Did they know each other before, like, before they got famous? Were they friends? I just need to, I must ask these questions. Wait, I'm so confused because, like, no one even knows, like, their name. Hello? Hello? I just, I don't know what's happening right now. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Um, Are we in the right? Um, well, let's start Hello? off. You guys, oh, maybe hi. stand right here. I'm hi. Sorry. No, uh, no, continue Hello? your interview. No, please come in. Are Can you, you please tell us what your hi. names are? Oh, I'm Dean. Oh, hi, Dean. Hi. Hi. You're Emma hi, Blunt. Nope, that's, that's Emma you. Blunt. That's Blunt. <laughs> you're the lady in the film. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're yes. the lady on all yeah. the signage. Wonderful. So, um, did you get the memo about the the, the dress code? It was a. Uh, no. 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 We okay. just we got invited to the. Just we, left we, the house. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting a lot of attention nowadays? And is it is it? Well, we met at an AI conference. Yeah. Okay. And then got some and attention, and now just, we're at a premiere. It's crazy because you guys going got on the ride. And you got all that attention happens. because people think you look like Beavis and right. Butt. Right. Yeah. Again. What are what are you guys? It's funny because we haven't <laughs> seen. I mean, I'm not familiar with the. Yeah, I haven't gotten the around show. to uh, seeing pictures yeah. of those characters. Still, still yeah, you but, haven't uh, looked it up. But I'll yeah. check it out. Are, are, are you intrigued to have a look, maybe? And maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah if yeah, I get sure. some time. I yeah. like the way you're holding that mic. It's, oh, thank it's you. It's great. Is, Were you in new. Salmon Fishing in Yemen? <laughs> <laughs> I love that film. Wow. Emily Blunt. That's it. Emily yeah. Blunt. Yeah. Emily Blunt, well, everyone. Emily, thank I'm you so much. Do you know where the concession stand is? You know, I'm not familiar with your work, but I'm going to check it out. Yeah, yeah, you should. Emily, thank you so much yeah. for joining sorry, us up Ms. here. Blart. Guys, thank you, Ms. I'm sorry. I can't believe you're sorry. here. You guys, is this your, what are you doing at the Fall Guy premiere? How has tonight been for you? Um, it's been pretty wild, yeah. you know, very surreal, very fun. But yeah, we're, we're just having, having our moment. Yeah. You know, you just, just got to out. meet celebrity Emily Blunt. Have you met Emily Ryan Blart. Gosling yet? Um, you know what? No, no, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Is he the gentleman on all the signage? I think he gave me the one finger salute. Yeah. And I gave it back. 
Wow. Yeah. But uh, we, we might have exchanged nods and smiles, yeah. but we didn't converse. One time Ryan nodded at me and I was never the same. Oh, yeah. oh really? Yeah. People enjoy his looks? Yeah. I'm not familiar with him, but I'll, I'll check him out for sure. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much thank for you, joining yes. us. I mean, unless unless you, you know have time to stay go? for a couple you know more questions. Uh, uh, no, we have a very busy night ahead. Do you know uh, where we go? Oh, okay. I think right also down here. Also the concession stand? Yeah. Okay. Right down here. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you guys you. so much. It was Dean and Jeff, right? Yes. Dean, Dean and Jeff, thank, thank you. you for nice meeting. <laughs> thank you for talking to us. Fabulous. I love that you're wearing the blue from the Fall Guy. Well, I thought I'd do a little tribute to my Gail Myers. She likes a little powder blue, makes you think she's nice. You guys, the fact that you said that, Hannah Waddingham is unrecognizable in this film as Gail Meyer. Like, it is a role. Isn't it so juicy to show people another side it. of your I love set? it. It was so great. Kelly and David were just like, come and play and let's get you in a deep disguise. And I was like, let's go deep. Deep undercover. Yeah, love it. It was amazing and not all, all that I'm about. You know, I like kind of swapping and changing and uh, Gail, Gail's a lot. She's really a lot. She's juicy, she's a fun one. I love her hairdo. I love that she's a brunette. Did it make you want to go brunette and all? Or are you just like, no, I'm Hannah Wadding, I'm, I'm blonde. No, because, because my hair in that, it looks like roadkill. And I was here for it. But yeah, it looks like roadkill for sure. So no, I'm not tempted. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I'm not tempted. <laughs> I thought that you pulled it off really great. Um, but you can do anything. You literally can do anything. And the last time you you don't try, you do. And the last time I saw you, you told me that you would actually have would love to have been a stunt performer in another life. Well, now look, I say that, but having done a bit of it now, they're badasses. And I am not. I'm an absolute wimp compared to them. My brilliant, I need to just shout out, which camera, which camera am I on here? I need to just shout out, my stunt double, Shanique Grayling. Now there's a badass. She is, and this is what this, this whole thing is about, you know, us raising up the stunt community that need to be. Shanique Grayling, man, she is the finest one there is. And if she thinks she's getting away from me now, no chance, we're in. We're in, done, because she's so brilliant. She's got a solid career ahead of her then, but one thing you'll never need a stunt person for is your singing. I was shocked to find out, Hannah, you've never had formal singing lessons. I know your parents um, and your mother and your grandparents were opera yes. singers, but you have a four vocal octave range, which is insane. There's a song moment in this movie. Yeah. Did you get in on the fun? Did you get to sing anything on oh, set? Actually, myself and, and Em were uh, quite a lot. And there was a moment, but we, we didn't, it wasn't put in the, the movie because it would have kind of sent you thinking something else about the character, which we didn't want. Um, but I don't know, maybe it'll end up in the blooper reel. But it's, uh, I mean, Emily and I love singing together. Wait, can you tell us a little bit more about what ended up on the cutting room floor? What, you know? No. Okay, I'll, take, I'll take the no. I'll take any no from Hannah Waddingham. I'll take anything from you. I've been, I love watching your career. I mean, you're, she's in Mission Impossible next summer. She's in The Fall Guy this weekend. You have to get tickets to it. Game of Thrones was insane. I know that shame, the, the shame bell that you yes. took home from that scene, I know you auctioned it off to charity. Did you take home any prop from The Fall Guy? From this? Uh, do you know what? I don't think I did. I certainly didn't take the hair. <laughs> that hair really draws out. I, I do love it but she can stay in a freaking box. <laughs> I mean, I loved it, but yeah, too much. <laughs> okay, well, 
Before I let you go, I have to ask because I love your relationship with your daughter. I think it's so special on the SAG Awards. She's here. She's not here, here, but she's here. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Here with us in spirit. Um, you walked the SAG Awards red carpet with a cardboard clutch that she made for you. Yes. Did she have a say in this outfit no, ensemble? Do you know what? That was like kind of a mistake. She was rolling up a bit of cardboard at home and went, Mommy, it looks like one of your red carpet bags. And I was like, my girl, make me a bag. Yeah. Is she taking orders? Because can I, I would add that to cart. No, no, she's very exclusive. Yes. You know, I love a no from you. Bye, Hannah. Thank it was you, so yeah. lovely Thank seeing you. you. Congratulations on the Thank film. You. It's love you. Be so much fun. People are going to die when they see this, honestly. It's epic. And you're going to die when you see her. Bye, Unlike anything you've seen before. Bye, Hannah. Love you. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us for the Fall Guy live stream. I'm still dying that Dean and Jeff from that live stream town hall that looked just like Beavis and Butthead were here. I mean, my earring was flying off. We talked to Emily Blunt, Hanning, Hanning, Hannah Waddingham, Winston Duke, so many of the amazing stunt performers. I can safely say that I was not injured in the making of this show, but I had a blast. The movie comes out in theaters this Friday. Do not miss it. If you like Ryan as Ken, just wait till you see him as Colt Seaver as a stunt guy. I'm going to head into the theater and end this the way every stunt guy ends all their stunts with, and that is with a thumbs up. I love you all. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on The Fall Guy. Find me on Instagram at Naz Perez, and I'll see